Yes, Joseph Jokwa Lokere is my name, the manager of Alito Training Center. Uh, once again, I'm introducing this episode on regenerative agriculture. This is one of the practice that we train the young people here in Alito, how to regenerate the soil, because the soil is always being depleted due to continuous production. So we want to show farmers a simple way of getting their soil uh, productive again after being used for many times. So uh, farming becomes very simple. These are organic materials from the farm. We have the waste from the animal unit mixed up. We have the, the wet manure and then brown manure. Brown manure, those are dry materials from the, the, the farm. The crop residue which are dry. We call it brown manure. Then wet manure involves fresh animal waste, uh, wet grass, and crop residues like cabbage leaves and all so forth. So that we can compile them in, in, into different layers and it is moistened. So it is decomposing very fast. The practice that we want our farmers to adopt so that they can have their production and productivity improved. So, in this way, you will have reduced cost of production as a farmer because you are going to get a good, very good manure. You can make quality manure for your garden. can move around the compound, you, you, you collect those weeds, weeds around, around the home. Then there are some poisonous plants which cannot be eaten by animals. You can collect them, you gather them in a, to make compost. That one, is, that one is the first layer. Eh? That one is the first layer. You keep on giving uh, different layers. Eh? You alternate brown manure with it with a green manure, eh? an animal waste. Course ways or Ramoka? This method is used in sustainable agriculture and also it helps you under when you are carrying out regenerative, regenerative agriculture and then sustainable. Sustainable agriculture means you are using the available resources to make profit. But you will not compromise, you will not affect the future uh, farmers to use the same resource, okay? Now, this one is sustainable in such a, such a way that we are using available material to renew the soil and we are going to make profit from the soil that we are, we are adding this manure to. The soil will not be exhausted. So that next year or five years to come, people who are coming for the training will still come and use the same land. Are you getting that? So we are trying to improve our soil, maintain its fertility and productivity for future use also, as we are using it now. Then regenerative agriculture, every time you are, you are producing cabbage, you are producing tomatoes, you are producing green pepper, eggplant, you are removing nutrients from the soil. Sometimes living organism from the soil is also dead. So you need to keep bring the fertility back, allow 
living organism to be there, okay? So, in this way, you decompose the material and then you take them to the field. During the process of decomposition, there will be multiplication of microorganisms, multiplication of living organisms like earthworms, the beetles, and other things, okay? When you carry them to the field, you will have the number of living organisms there. You will also increase the fertility of the soil. So, you are regenerating. Eh? If the soil is already poor, cannot grow any crop very well, this is the way you can bring them back. You decompose the decomposable material, plant residues, and then you take them back to the field. You are regenerating the soil, okay? So, regenerative agriculture and then sustainable. It is sustainable because you can get it available. You will not waste the soil. The soil will not be exhausted as fast as possible, okay? For sure, these poisonous plants, they are everywhere around the compound, in the grazing land, even in the field. But this poisonous plant, what I want to tell you is, they utilize the new fen, which is available in the soil, okay? Fence, like other crops. So, you cannot leave this poisonous plant to remain there in the field. Or you cannot cut and then burn them aside. What you can do as a farmer who is skilled, you collect all the poisonous plants from the field, come and turn them into soil. Is it clear? They will not have any effects on the soil when you decompose them all. So, they can be used for what? For improving the soil fertility. Is it clear? This... Rich farmer! Rich soil!
Um, if it is raining every day, you find a lot of too much water enters inside here, and in the process, it will be leaching, carrying away some of the nutrients which is undergoing it. Remember, we have put animal waste, so we have uh, different materials which will start decomposing to release the nutrients which are intact in them. So, what matters is we have to protect it from being uh, wasted so that we carry the whole nutrients in a decomposed manure to the field. Okay, so can we cover it? You can use any available material. If you have the banana fiber, make sure you lay it in such a way that it allows water. When it is raining, rain can go home, it can, it can just run uh, out of it. But if you have coupling, if you have coupling or iron sheets, you can cover the top, right? Leave the side open. Leave the side open. Then, you drive a stick. Now this stick will help us. It will help us to monitor if the process of decomposition has started and is going on. So, at some point, you put... it like this. So, if you want to check whether the composition is taking place properly, you can come and just put it out. You feel. Right now, it is still cold, okay? I want all of you to feel. Today, then after two days, you come and feel. You come and check. Today, I am very happy that we have built our composition. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. yeah. So now we have to wait for it to be oh. oh. power. Rich 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 on the surface of the ground. The reason as to why we are doing so, we want to improve on the soil fertility. And we are using partially decomposed manure. It will continue, I mean the decomposition will continue from the main garden. The reason as to why we are using partially decomposed manure is to speed up the decomposition in the main garden. That you can see my friends are collecting them into the main garden. You incorporate down there. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, uh, the soil should be okay. You remove undecomposable material. I can see cavera, the ropes, the size of it.
in the soil now shows that the soil is now fertile and it's good right. for Daniel, plant that's the plant. rule of man to you as a teacher mm. <laughs> okay these soil living organisms like the lava of, uh, of betel and also the betel can move into the soil uh, hence making air yeah, circulation into the into the water into the soil very simple so in their process of movement, they also have sticky uh, substance that they secrete, which helps to bind soil particles together, thus improving on the soil structure. My advice to farmers is they should use organic manure that they incorporate into the soil to add more what uh, soil living organisms like this. Because the absence of uh, organic manure means that there are no what. Uh, soil living organisms in the soil. I think what we have just done today is we are trying to improve on the health of our soil by mixing the soil with the partially decomposed organic manure. We have mixed it to improve on the soil health. And after two weeks, we shall come to redig it. The reason why we redig it is to ensure that the organic manure is totally decomposed and the soil is uniform before we shall come to transplant our seedling and plant here. Then, yeah, I think why we want to transplant it after the decomposition is complete is because when we transplant, when the organic matters are not well decomposed, sometimes when they land around the seedling, they, in the process of decomposing, the heat they will produce, it will affect the, the, the plant stem. And once the plant stem is affected, you find it will wilt. That's why we want to ensure that the whole organic matter is decomposed before we transplant. So, the eggplant is lying on a regenerated land in such a way that um, we have the land improved. The land has been completely regenerated with plenty of organic matter and there are soil living organisms. So, you can see the yields of the eggplant 
So if you compare this plot and the other part, this part has not been regenerated, but here complete regeneration was done, which has made it to be very, very uh, fruitful. The productivity of the soil has improved and obviously you can see the potential yield of the eggplant as the way it is coming. Regenerated the soil. The soil was completely exhausted, but we had to bring in organic particles. Then we incorporated the soil completely. So, three weeks, just within three weeks, it was ready for us to plant, to transplant the tomatoes. But now you can see how the yield potential is too high. It has taken one month and some weeks. The tomato is ready flowering. So. This is the best practice on regenerative agriculture. You, have, you can renew the soil. You can renew the soil and the soil will be fertile. So don't uh, hesitate to do regenerative practices like adding organic manure. Not the fertility of the soil is not there. Then the productivity of the farm will not be effective. So now look at our egg farm. Is also lying on regenerated soil. A rich farmer is a farmer with a fertile soil. When you have a fertile soil, it means you are rich. So, this is what we have done on regenerative agriculture. Have a look at the cabbage which has been planted on regenerated soil. And to make it amazing, the sunshine has is terrible. Eh? It is there is no rain and even sometimes we don't have enough water there. So obviously you will find our cabbage is still surviving and forming very big and you can see how they are yielding. The yield potential is high because there is a lot of nutrients and organic matter which supports. Uh, production during hash time. Purchase your tracks today. So, at this point, you can even start using the, uh, the excess leaves. These leaves that you have grown, you cannot just waste them. Make sure you take them and decompose I mean, and feed the animal or decompose it to be used again. In this way you will have reduced cost of production in the in feeding the livestock. So instead of buying feeds you can produce garbage, you wait to sell the heads, the leaves you can use it to feed your birds or, or rabbits. Business make money from the family. It's not all about like looking for jobs so that you are employed. Uh, these days there are no employment. Unless you create your own employment, that is when you can earn a better living. So you are here to learn uh, basic skills on how to make money through farming.
Skelius! 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 Skelius!